Hi guys, welcome back to another wonderful tutorial. It's your girl blessing. And if you're seeing this channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to my returning subscribers. Thanks for always coming back. Okay, so in this tutorial, you'll be learning how to make a basket with yoke. Okay, this is for a booba. There's no joining at the shoulder. Okay, so if this is what you like to learn, let's go right into the video. Okay, guys, so I was actually sewing and I decided, okay, let me show you guys how to make this. I already made this for the sleeve of the booba. Okay, this is for the sleeve. So the one I'm going to be doing now is for the yoke part of the booba. That's the upper part of the booba. So this is how it's going to come out. But we are going to have a neckline in between. That's just the difference, okay? So to start with, to be in the pattern paper, the ruler, a marker, um, tape and all that. So we'll be folding this into two, okay, to serve as the yoke. For example, if we're going to like if anyhow you want, from wherever you want your yoke to stop, okay. The width of this, that's the measurement of the bust, right? Then the length, this is 6.5, okay? You can make yours 7, you can make yours 8, depending on how deep you want the yoke to be. That's from your shoulder down to probably the upper part of your bust, okay? So this is going to be cut on fold. We are going to fold into 2, then into 4, so that we can measure out the neckline, okay? So to measure out the neckline, the next thing we are going to do now is to measure the neck width which is seven inches 3.5 then i came down by another 3.5 or four inches rather came down by four inches as the depth of the neck that's the neck depth okay so i'll be mark i'll be drawing a round neckline like so with my pattern row you can see what we have so I'll go ahead and cut it out to give us the neckline for the booba. Okay. So after that, I'll go ahead and open up. Okay. So this has already given us the wideness of the neckline of the booba. So this is what we have, guys. So the next thing we are going to be doing now is to start drawing our lines because the lines are going to help us to know where to sew on the paper we cannot do this directly on the fabric we are, we are going to be sewing on the paper before we transfer or join to the fabric so to start with i'll start from this other end and i'll be using a difference of the line on the ruler okay i hope you guys can see the line on the ruler is about 0.25 it's not up to one i mean it's about 1.25 it's not up to 1.5 okay so i'll be using that line to to serve as the interval the line on the ruler will serve as the interval between each line so this is how i'll keep drawing the lines to the end Okay, so when you get to where we have the neckline, you draw the first part, then you go down and draw the other line. Okay, so this is how this will look like. So I'll keep drawing like so until it gets to the end. Okay, so you have to be careful so that the lines are very straight. So I'll do this off the camera and go come back. So after that, this is what we have you see how beautiful the lines are looking so the next thing we are going to do now is to cross the line okay the lines will be perpendicular to each other okay so be crossing the line with the same measurement okay with the same measurement so this is how we we'll keep drawing the lines to cross on the one we already draw 
Okay. So guys, this is it requires a lot of patience. It's not something you can do in a hurry. Just so you can have a beautiful result. Okay. So this is how we keep drawing till we get to the end of the paper. Okay. So I draw I drew the remaining one off the camera and this is what we have. I see how beautiful it is. The next thing we are going to do now is to start sewing. Okay, so we are going to be folding our bias. We are not going to be placing it flat. Okay, we'll be folding it like so. I will go ahead to the sewing machine and sew. Okay, so right at the sewing machine, this is how you place your bias on the paper. You can see what we are having. This is how you keep sewing to the end. And you have to be careful not to tear the paper, okay? At some point, the paper was almost cutting off, so we had to start using a masking tape to hold it down. Okay, so this is how you keep sewing. You fold your bias again, come to the next line, you place it on top of the line, just exactly on the line, okay? So I can have equal space at interval. So this is how we we'll keep sewing on all the lines. Okay. To have a perfect straight line first. Okay. So when you get to the neckline, you sew this way. You stop at that point. You stop your sewing. Then when you get to the other line, you start sewing again. So now we are done with the first line. It's time to start crossing the lines. Just the way we drew our pattern. Just the way we drew the lines on the paper. So it's time to start crossing the lines. Okay. Guys, this requires a lot of patience. Okay. You pick the next line again. This is actually a straight line. There are some patterns that you do kind of slant, okay? But this design is a straight line. It's a straight design. Okay, so this is how you keep sewing to cross all the lines that have been drawn. So guys, we'll continue this way till we get to the end of the paper. Okay? So now, this is what we have. Ooh. You can see how beautiful this is looking. Guys. So after crossing all the lines, we use the bias to turn the neckline. You can see how it has been placed. So this line serves as the one that will join to the other part of the booba to form the full length. Then this other side are the sleeve part. Those side will join to the sleeve part. Okay, so after joining to the to the main fabric, this is what we have. Okay, the sleeve to the sleeve and the chest line to the chest line. That's it. That is it. So you are going to sew everything with the paper. Okay, so this is the first one I was doing that I showed you when we started. It has been joined to the sleeve part. So everything will be sewn to the to the main fabric before you start removing the paper. Because if you remove the paper, you won't be able to sew conveniently. So it's time to remove every of the paper to bring out our pattern that we have sewn. You can see how beautiful it is. You can see how beautiful and neat it is, guys. So after removing everything, this is what we have. Just for the sleeve, I have to show you. Then for the chest part, this is what we have. You can see how beautiful it is, guys. So I decided to embellish with pearls, okay? My client wanted it with little embellishment, so I decided to use some pearls to embellish. Okay, so this is what we have. Wow! Do you like what you see? <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share,
make your comments okay i'll see you in my next video guys bye